Hi everyone, welcome to another video. When I was recording the other day, I forgot to unmute my microphone over this gameplay, so instead, I want to tell you a little story. Recently, I've been playing a lot more Battlefield 1 and Battlefield 5 because anything to do with World War 1 and World War 2 just tickles my history button. But also because I needed to take a break from Warzone thanks to the Cheaters and the SBMM, but after playing these games for a while, I thought I'd bring a World War 2 loadout into Warzone and see how it goes. So today I'm using the PPSH and the Car 98 as soon as I get my loadout. But the story that I want to be talking to you about is about a man named Sidney Bates who received the Victoria Cross during World War II. And what the Victoria Cross is, it's the highest award you can be given for bravery in the face of the enemy. As I said, learning about World War II just tickles my fancy, so it all starts and ends with Sidney Bates, who was part of the Royal Norfolk Regiment in the British Army in World War II. He was born in Camberwell, London, and when the war broke out, he joined the army, but the day he earned the Victoria Cross was actually four years later on the 6th of August 1944 in France, just after D-Day. On that day, he was with his battalion in Sour de Val in France, when they were actually attacked by the 10th SS Panzer Division, which is basically massive tanks, artillery and anything else the Germans can throw at them. After about half an hour of the battle starting, the Germans pinpointed their fire on the two forward companies, the right forward company and the left forward company, which was commanded by Sidney Bates. At that point, they had suffered some casualties and the Germans were getting so close that they just stopped using artillery and tanks and started using machine guns and mortars. As they got closer, Sidney realized that the attack was getting too much and they were being overwhelmed. So he moved his company to a different position to try and flank the enemy and stop the attack, but Unfortunately for him, the wedge the Germans were driving was just getting bigger and bigger. He could see what was going on, and he realised that most of the section had been taken out. So he grabbed himself an LMG and started charging at the enemy and shooting his gun from the hip. Unfortunately for him, he was pretty much instantly wounded and fell to the ground from the shock of being shot. But he recovered himself and got up to carry on charging at the Germans while spraying his gun in their direction from the hip. But the German machine guns didn't actually stop shooting, so he was hit for a second time, but this time he struggled to get up. But he composed himself and he did get up, and he carried on advancing towards the Germans, which took them by surprise to see this guy still charging at them, firing his gun, after being hit twice already. But he was up and he was moving forwards, and he didn't stop firing, until the enemy started to back off. And that's what happened, the Germans actually started to withdraw their forces because of this one guy, and push backwards, because this guy was just unkillable and it was kind of daunting, I guess, for them to see this guy running at them with a machine gun. At that moment though, as they were starting to retreat, he was hit for a third time by a mortar. Obviously, he fell to the floor again, but he carried on firing his weapon while he was laying there until he literally didn't have the strength to fire it anymore. But by the time he couldn't fire anymore, the enemy had backed off from that area and basically he'd secured the area he was fighting for single-handedly. Shortly after that, he died in a barn that was turned into an aid station, but thanks to his absolute bravery and self-sacrifice, he single-handedly pushed the enemy back from his area and gave his life for it. And for that, he earned the highest honour a soldier can receive for bravery, the Victoria Cross. It's too bad, really, that he couldn't have received the medal while he was alive, but something tells me he didn't do that to bag himself a medal. I think he did it because he was trying to save the lives of his men that he had left. Think about it though, would you be brave enough to do the same sort of thing as he did? I don't think I'd be brave enough to do that, but in the heat of the moment, I'm sure being in a battle has some strange psychological effects on your mind, which makes you do things you wouldn't normally do and pull off some insanely brave stunts to save the life of your men. Anyway, I thought it was just a really interesting story of how a single brave man with a machine gun could get into the enemy's heads and stop their attack dead by laying his life on the line. A true inspiration for humanity in my opinion. Every single one of those soldiers that fought in World War II, whether they lived or died, they're heroes to me. 
and I thank them for their service during that time. Anyway, that's all I've got for you today. I hope you enjoyed this little story. Leave a like if you did, and I'll see you in the next video. Toodaloo!